Hi, this is Mehdi from Ecom Clips. I have been working with Ecom Clips for around five years now. I have worked with almost all e-commerce platforms like Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Wayfair, Target, Overstock, Home Depot, and many more. And also, I have experienced with all popular third-party multi-channel software like Linux, Generalizer, Ecom Dash, Seller Cloud, Store Automator, Sellbrite, etc. Also, I have worked with shopping cart software like Shopify, Magento, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, etc. As Amazon is the giant of the e-commerce world, we regularly need to work on Amazon and most of our clients use us to work on Amazon account management service. In today's video, I will show some basic account management tasks of Amazon which we need to do regularly. Let's move into the skin. The first step is item creation on Amazon. We can create items on Amazon either manually or in bulk. Creating new items manually on Amazon, we need to click on add a product. Then we need to select I am adding a product not sold on Amazon. We need to select our product category from here. Now we need to fill up all the required attributes from each section like vital info, variations, offer, images, description and if everything is okay then we need to click on save and finish. This will take maximum 15 minutes to publish the items on Amazon detail page. We can create multiple items at a time by using a flat file. First, we need to download a flat file from add a products by upload. Then, we need to download an inventory file from here. We need to choose the appropriate category for our products. After selecting the category, we need to download the template by clicking on generate template. Now, we need to fill up the file with our product information like we need to select the product type, then we need to give a SKU number, our brand name, title, product ID, product ID type and all the other information. After completing the file, we will upload the file on Amazon. Need to click on upload your inventory file. Choose the file and click on upload file. This will take us to the monitor upload status space and we can see the results here. If we receive any error, we can check it from download your processing report. Also, we can check which listings are not successfully completed from complete your drafts and we can fix them here. We can upload videos on our listings. For that, we need to click on upload and manage videos and here we can upload our videos for our product. Now I am showing how we can bulk update our product's price quantity by using inventory loader file. We need to go to the download and inventory file. Then we need to click on inventory files. Now we need to choose the inventory loader. Then we will download the loader file. We need to fill up the file with appropriate product information. We will put our SKU number, product ID, product ID type, price and quantity. Then we will save the file and we will upload the file on Amazon. This will take a maximum 15 minutes to update our price and quantity. We can create existing listings. This is called Amazon catalog listings which are created by a different seller. For that we need to click on add a products. And we need to search the appropriate items by its ASIN, UPC or name. Then we will select the condition and need to click on sell this product. Then we need to follow the procedures. Also we can do it by using the inventory loader file. Now I am showing how we can convert our merchant items to FBA. We can convert items in two ways. First one is we need to click on the drop down which is on the right side of the edit button. Then we need to click on convert to fulfilled by Amazon and then we need to follow the procedure to convert the items to FBA. Also we can convert our items to FBA by using the inventory loader file. We can give promotions to our items. For that we need to go to manage promotions and from here we can give two types of promotion. One is money off and another one is 
buy on get one Also, we can keep vouchers and prime exclusive discounts from advertising. We can do pay per click advertising, which is called PPC from campaign manager. We need to click on the create campaign. Now we need to give campaign name, campaign start and end date. Then we need to set our daily budget. After that, we need to set targeting. Here are two types of targeting, automatic targeting, manual targeting. Then we need to give the ad group name. Here we need to add our products. Also, we can add negative keyword targeting here. Then we need to click on the launch campaign. We have different PPC related videos where we describe in detail how we can do PPC. Also, we can create and apply A plus pages from A plus content manager. We can design and create stores from stores. If we have the brand DST, then we can create virtual bundles where we can sell our two or more products together. We can apply for GTI and exemption on Amazon if we have the brand DST so that we don't need any product ready like UPC, GTI, etc. We can do repricing by using Amazon repricing tools, which is under the pricing tab. We need to click on automate pricing and then we need to follow the procedures. We need to set a pricing rule. Click on a create customized pricing rule. Then we need to choose what type of rule we want to create from the drop down and then we need to give a name for the rule and then we need to set other rules according to our needs. We can generate inventory reports from here. Also. We can check our order report, seller performance report, brand performance report and other ASIN based reports from business reports. We need to regularly follow up our account health from performance and if we find any issue then we need to fix the problem. We will find all the policy complaints and our shipping performance here. We can check listing tools every day. If we receive any suppressed error or listing quality error, we can fix this from here. Parental relation is broken, which is called split issue. We can fix split issues by using feed files. Sometimes we need to update our product information, but Amazon is not updating information. In this case, we need to apply variation widget process which is we need to delete our items using inventory loader file and need to wait for 48 hours at least and then we need to release the items by using updated information. On a regular basis we may face various issues sometimes we can fix them easily and sometimes we may not be able to fix them by ourselves. In this case we need to contact Amazon support and we need to create a case on Amazon. For that we need to click on help then get support and need to click on browse for your issue in the menu. Now we need to select the category which types of issue we are facing. We can create a case or we can schedule a call with Amazon. Also on Amazon UK we can do live chat as well. These are all the basic things. We will discuss further details in our next session. Thanks for watching the video.